What's up everyone, it's your boy Nolan Rad89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review and today I'm very excited we are here to talk about a A24 film that came out in 2015 called Green Room and man this was a fantastic, fantastic surprise so I can't wait to talk about this film today. We're going to hear my positives, the negatives, and then the rating and then I'm going to send you all home so let's do this. Roll it. Green Room is a 2015 A24 film that stars Sir Patrick Stewart, Anton Yelchin, rest in peace, we miss you so much, and Aaliyah Shawkat. And this film centers around a punk band who goes to play a show at a certain type of venue, and they witness a scene of violence, you know, we'll just get it out there, a murder, because this happens very early in the film. They witness a murder, and then these people that run this bar, the type of people that run this bar, they keep them there and try to hide all evidence and cover things up and things get very violent, very dark and really, really quick. And let's start off with the positives right away is that one key positive is that the acting in here is freaking fantastic. I'm talking from Anton Yelchin, from all the kids that because he's part of the punk band, that whole group of them, all great. And then the standout, a really, really key standout is Sir Patrick Stewart as Darcy in here. Probably his most maniacal, evil role I've ever seen him in. He is the antagonist in this film, or one of the main antagonists, and Patrick Stewart just goes for it all the way. To see him in this type of role, this is really fantastic. It's just great, because you're used to seeing Patrick Stewart as, you know, the good guy. He's Professor X, you know, or he's Captain Picard, but in here he is a maniacal evil monster and probably one of the best villains that I've ever seen on screen. Another huge positive about this movie is that like I said it's dark, it's gritty, and it's fast paced. This movie is only an hour and 35 minutes so it doesn't waste any time. It gets right down to the story, right down to business, and this is one of those films that's it's unnerving. It's tense and it'll make you feel uncomfortable and that's why I love this film. Like This film hits hard for me because Coming from a place of somebody who watches a lot of horror films, and I would consider this a horror film, is that I'm not scared of supernatural stuff. I'm not scared of Jason or Freddy or Michael Myers. I'm not really scared of that kind of stuff. I'm really not. It's more of the real life story type thing, stuff that can really happen. And this is one of those things, like if you walk around in this country or certain places in certain countries and you go into the wrong bar or the wrong city and you're, you know, dress the wrong way, for example, or you say the wrong thing to the wrong person, this kind of stuff could happen to you. So that's what I mean. That's what's so horrific about the story is that as it's unfolding, as you're watching it, it's very realistic. It's very raw. And in your mind, you're picturing that moment where you're like, damn, this goes down in places and I would hate to be. It's literally that wrong place wrong time scenario and the absolute worst. The gore is also off the charts. It's not overly gory, but it's very, you know, raw. It's quick and it hits hard and it's realistic practical effects. There's no bullshit CGI or anything like that. So that's what I love. And there's also, I must say like freaking dogs in here, but there's no like crazy, like crazy stuff. So I must warn you, the dog stuff, it gets a little wild at points. But yeah, let's, I'll just leave it at that. You know, there's no like harm going on, but there's dogs in this movie, just to warn and let you know there's scenes with them trained and everything, of course. But oh man, like this film just went for it. Like I couldn't believe it. Like as it was unfolding, as it was going, it's just, like I said, so tense and it doesn't waste any time. It's got a good amount of setup. It gets to that second act. It lets you, it puts you in the scenario with them and then things just keep unfolding and unfolding and the dialogue is really quick. Things are happening really fast, so you have to you have to be listening and you have to be watching the film and paying attention. So it's like because it's only an hour and thirty five minutes, and it is a very simple story. But in terms of what people are doing, you know, who's on whose side, because there might be some twists in this film too. So that's what I mean. This is one of those films that just kept me on the edge of my seat. I was enthralled, invested all the way through, and like the acting is just so superb those line deliveries man and then once you get to the third act and they cap this film off and we're sitting in that like that last scene what's happening i was like yeah i can't wait to champion this film and talk it because yeah green room i like i'm already almost confess like right now i'm an a24 whore i just love their films it's a production company that i like because they pick these very rare very avant-garde weird films that you know there's 
not a lot of production company stuff going on in the film. You know, there's not a lot of watchful eyes like over at Warner Brothers and Marvel and Disney where there's people and execs coming and telling you, you got to put that in your movie and you got to take that out. We need a scene like this. No, you can tell that a lot of these A24 projects or films that are by writers and directors who are very passionate about their stories and very passionate about what they do and their line of work and seeing these films, you know, come to the big screens or like get released because A24 is going out and finding them and buying them and then putting them out there and marketing them. I think it's just really an amazing thing. So yeah, Green Room is one that I highly recommend. In terms of negatives, like, dude, I really, I really didn't have any negatives. It's really, it's one of those films that I, I find it very hard. Like I'm trying to search out negatives. Like, and I'm like, oh, if anything I pick, it's just like nitpicky things. Like, I really did love this movie. And I want to put, for the rating, let's just talk about the rating right now. Like, I kind of want to put this at a 10 out of 10. But I would say maybe if I was to say a negative, but this is probably a minor nitpicky thing, is that this isn't a film that you can just digest any time of day. Like, I don't, this isn't going to be like a comfort movie or a film that you can just be like, yo, it's the morning time, like, or yeah, yeah, nighttime, any time of day, I'm happy as hell. Let me put this movie on. Like, it's not one of those kind of movies. So I'd probably say that's maybe like what would kind of take it down. But that's not, that's more of like a nitpicky thing because I had a ton of fun with this movie. Like I said, it was raw, gritty, realistic, great acting, and it was fast paced and just gripping from beginning to end, I was entertained with this film and wanted to see and experience every moment. So that's what I mean is just, it's nitpicky negative, like that thing to say that, that it's not a film that you can digest just any time of day because the content is so heavy and all that kind of stuff. So I'll, I'll say a rating nine out of 10. We'll just, we'll sit at a nine out of 10 for this film because I just think it's a very solid, very well done film and you can see the passion in it and it's a story like I said that had me it grabbed me and it didn't let go and that's one major thing for me with films is if the film is able to literally like reach out of the screen and grab me and like hey pay attention to me watch me that's something important that's the mark of a really good film you know what I mean even if it's like heavy heavy content I love that because I'm down for that. Any film that's able to capture me like that is something that I'm interested in because the worst thing a film could do for me is bore me to death. Like if it's boring and I'm just like, oh, like I don't really want to know what's going on with these characters and I'm not interested, that's the worst thing a film can do for me. So Green Room, you can tell by the way I'm talking, the way I'm feeling about it and discussing this film, man, I highly recommend this film and also the music the soundtrack is really good too because if you like punk bands you like heavy rock and roll this is going to be right up your alley in terms of the soundtrack too so yeah there's a lot a lot to love about this film and i highly recommend it it's currently streaming on max what used to be aka hbo max but now it's just max it's currently streaming on there but i'm going to search this movie out i'm going to go find this movie and buy this movie because this is one that i need to add to the collection. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review of Green Room. Please let me know in the comments section down below if you've seen this film, what are your thoughts? Or even if you haven't seen this film, just drop a hello, say what's up, and of course I'll message you back and say what's up, you know, how you doing? We can chat and everything. But also be sure to like, subscribe, and have that notification bell on so you're notified anytime I post videos. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.